Okay, we're back here at Dell World 2012. This is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.com's TV program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. It's our 27th event this year. This is our third season running. We go to all the events, we dig in, we talk to the tech athletes, we get the signal from the noise, share that with you. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante, and we've got a real quick spot here because you've got to meet the Freakonomics guys for an, another conversation. Right. Uh, Karen Quintos, SVP and CMO of Dell. Um, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you. So, Thanks so you're, you're a tech athlete, obviously SVP, you got some chops there at <laughs> Dell, so, and obviously marketing, you guys are global marketing. We saw some of your social media stuff that you're doing, pioneering state of the art. Uh, but Dell has a big business, you talk to a lot of customers, you got a lot going on. So before we get into that, just talk about the show here, Dell World, second year. Um, how's it going? What's next? N new venue, bigger place? What's your take of, share with the folks at the Dell World team? Um, I'd, I'd love to. You know, this is our second second time. Last year we had about 1,500 customers. This year we have well over 5,000. And next year we will have it here again in Austin. So Dell World 2013 Fantastic. will be nice. even better than we Dell World Austin. 2012. Good. No, no Vegas Don't go to next Vegas. Year. Good. No, Vegas. Vegas. No, no, sorry, no. Vegas. We love you, but you but know. Uh, Austin, is, people, <laughs> customers love coming uh, to Austin. It's, it's Austin great. has a vibe. It's great vibe. It's our backyard. Yeah, the music's fantastic. The music's fantastic. We great proved, food. I mean, proved it to customers on Tuesday night. We rocked the rocked Austin city limits with Camp Freddy. And that and was just unbelievable. Uh, uh, we is, we yeah. were there, it was great. It's incredible. Yeah. So, easy um, living, as great. people say yeah. here. It's easy living. We heard that yeah. guy say that to yeah. us in the bars. Yeah. Like, why do you like Austin? Easy living. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Natural, family oriented, but fun. Yeah, it's the Dell's culture. I'd say it's like Texas. You've got to do barbecue with them. This is our first time with theCUBE here. We're very impressed with the hospitality of Dell, and we've had some good quotes. You're going to come back? Absolutely, if you'll have yeah. us, you'll we'll have, have us. we'll be back. Bring yeah, our independent good. media to you. But let's talk about your marketing now. Changing, digital channels are big. Um, as you span the scope of the volume of dollars, Marius has got a big number he's going to go after. He just has Steve on, you're growing. Obviously the stock is a different issue, but you guys are still exploding in growth. And what's the strategy? What's the plan for marketing? Well, this Dell World event is actually a great example of our marketing strategy, which is, how do we figure out how to reach larger audiences with the story around all of the great capabilities that we have built, acquired over the last several years? You know, when customers used to think of the Dell brand, they thought about it as a PC hardware, in some cases just a consumer, which is, you know, so far from the truth, where, you know, 80% plus of our revenue now comes from big from commercial customers, non kind of consumer customers. And all of the assets that we've acquired has allowed us to solve our customers' biggest IT challenges. So we've built on this foundation of our PC hardware business and now have the capability so in terms of the, our being an end-to-end -end solution. So you, I mean, you guys have a footprint in the enterprise, but this legitimizes your enterprise. This show here to me legitimizes the enterprise position because of the, the different solution sec sets. Do you, do you find that people say a lot like, I didn't know Dell had that? I mean, is that the challenge is like, just to get the evangelism up? Is the awareness, is it more, uh, more tactical? Yeah, well you know, um, several years ago they used to say that a lot. And now they're saying it less, but they're still saying it. So we, we still have work to do. And the job of marketing is to figure out how to get that message out in a way that resonates with customers, where they want to hear the message. So Dell World is, is one example of it. We do events smaller in nature across other regions. We're doing um, brand advertising now that's talking about Dell. We're doing it in China, we're doing it in Germany, we're doing it here in the US. We're going to be doing it in many markets around the world next year. So um, this is just part of our strategy in getting people to understand where we're going. I think your, your messaging, ch messaging challenge is, is quite significant. I mean, it's, you've got a complicated company. Uh, you can't do a one-size-fits-all you know, message, right? So how do you balance that, the, the, the message that shows like this versus the sort of line and you know, the demand of the business units to really help them? How do you, how do you rationalize all that? Well, first of all, um, when you when we talk about the Dell brand, we can talk about the Dell brand in a consistent way. That's mm -hmm. what's great about the Dell brand. And when you come to an event like this, customers tell you all the time, let me tell you why I do business with Dell. Because you're easy to do easy business with. Easy to do business with, with because absolutely. Because yeah. it's simple to do business. Because you're humble, you're pragmatic, mm -hmm. you have this open, no-nonsense kind of approach. Right. So that's why we do business with you. So as we take all of our messaging out to the marketplace around what we can do from an end-to-end -end solutions provider, 
we do it in a way that brings stories to life that really help to bring the Dell brand front and center and the things that customers are looking for us to provide them. So talk about how the, en the enterprise emphasis has changed your marketing. Um, you know, a couple ways. One is our marketing used to be, years ago, all about speeds and feeds. And everybody wanted to know what's the fastest, uh, e you know, all of that speeds and feeds kind of product stuff. Now we're talking about what are the outcomes that customers want to achieve. So it's, it's um, across marketing, really forced us to think about customer pain points, integration, better together, and there's no better company to do that than Dell with all of the assets that we have across the portfolio. Well, it's exciting to have you uh, here inside theCUBE. I know you got to run uh, to, uh, to your next uh, interview with the Freakonomics folks here in the social media analytics lounge. Um, but you guys, my final question is, is that Dell also is a maverick culture, right? I mean, they have their customer focused. Michael Dell was clear on that yesterday when he came here, and that's clear, easy to do business with. You guys made your bones there. But now you guys are pioneering the word technology, the word transformation is kind of taken away from that M&A perception, but now you're selling social media mm -hmm. analytics. You have all this pioneering, groundbreaking digital marketing going on. Okay. So that's the one, that's cool. How do you take it to the next level? What's your plans on the next level? Because well, I'll tell you, so you, know, you know, you talk about it, we talk about it in the context of this entrepreneurial spirit that is still alive at Dell. And you know, having a founder CEO keeps that, that magic, that spirit alive. Social media services actually started as in, in, an idea in marketing. And we built this capability, we knew where it was going, and then we turned around and we said, wow, we have such an opportunity to help customers. So it was an innovative idea that we incubated in marketing. I can't think of many other technology companies where no, they have a solution that incubates in marketing, and now we figured out how to take it to the broader market. Yeah, and specifically I want to get, uh, first of all, totally agree, love that. I mean, that's amazing, we're going to amplify that to the, to the, to the, till the cows come home, we love it so much. But, but we are living in an era where the first time in the history of modern business, of a business, you can actually instrument your customer relationships. Right. And with, with a connected system with phones and smartphones and more compute, big data. So, I mean, old school marketing is transforming into a new era. No What's your vision on that? Because this is so, I mean, listen, we're the first generation of marketers to do that. What's your vision there? It's really, really interesting. You know, my, my vision is that social media is no longer a, a, a choice. It is absolutely a business imperative. It's here, whether you like it or not, it's here. I talked to a group of CIOs about that just this morning. I fundamentally believe that the company that will win in social media will be the one that will be able to take big customer data, integrate it in with content, relevant content, content that customers really care about, and the integration in with their back end customer systems that will enable us to communicate with customers, interact with customers, where customers want to, and from a business results perspective, be able to, to help our sales teams better target their customers and have the right conversations. That's who's going to win, and that's what our vision is around what social media can do. So I had one last question, if I may, I know you're run. You and your peers uh, are becoming much more influential in terms of consuming technology. Right. We always talk about the, the CIO. You just mentioned, you know, the social media came out of marketing. Do you see, you know, in the near term that the uh, the messaging to, to to the CMO is actually going to begin to outpace the messaging to the to the CIO and the IT practitioner crowd? Yeah, I don't know if it's ever going to outpace it, but it is certainly growing mm. at at substantial rates. The number of conversations that I'm having now with other CMOS, right. I had 20 CMOS here at the event today, really? and so and we're all talking about that same same thing. We're all talking about customer data, digital, social, social yeah. everything that's happening. We actually have at Dell a great working relationship at a very strategic level and a very tactical level with our CIO, Andy Karabudis. She's fantastic, she gets the agenda of marketing. She understands the role that her organization plays to enable it. And you're going to see this thing just continue to take off at unprecedented rates. So about partnerships, collaborative networks. We heard that from President Clinton yesterday, yeah, John. Right Karen <laughs> Quintos, tech athlete in marketing, innovating, building their own technology to solve their own problems. It's like almost like mail order PC when it was passe. Go direct to the customers. This is the Dell Innovation. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming inside the queue. Appreciate it. Be Thank right you. back with our next guest after this short break.